Actually, I, I live in Rome. Uh, actually, my family lives in Rome. I'm, I'm living in London, and uh, I have to say Maxi Museum is really beautiful, and I just wanted to thank the creativity that uh, brought that to my city. Um, well, good afternoon, and let me first uh, thank uh, the Atlantic, the Aspen Institute, and uh, Bloomberg uh, Philanthropies for organizing and hosting uh, such an uh, incredibly interesting event. Uh, I work for JP Morgan Chase, uh, and we are proud to help support CityLab in this uh, initiative uh, and help stimulating the conversation on stage like the one we just had and the one we will be having uh, later uh, about really keep uh, city healthy and help them prosper. The city, of course, uh, uh, are not just places where we live, but also mostly places where we work. And uh, they are such an important component of the world economies. And for that reason, London is such an appropriate place to have such a meeting here today. Uh, the United Kingdom uh, relies on uh, London place as really center of commerce uh, and trade and has been doing so for such a long time. London, in fact, is one of the world powerhouses, uh, as many other cities in the world are. Uh, if we think around Europe or the world, uh, we think about New York, Paris, Madrid, Barcelona. Uh, we heard about that a few minutes ago, uh, Rome, Milan. Uh, well, those are all really powerhouse within their own uh, country. And if you think of London, for example, uh, more than 22% of uh, the UK GDP is really produced here in London. And similar figures uh, are all true for many other big cities around the world. And in fact, uh, many research uh, illustrate that. Uh, Richard Florida here of City Lab and his colleague have documented uh, this uh, uh, increasing trend. And a recent study by McKinsey uh, shows that if we take the 600 largest city in the world, by 2025, like 10 years' time, uh, they will be producing above 60% of the world GDP. So, uh, City as really uh, powerhouse, economic powerhouses. And of course, I work in a bank, and the history of banks and, and city are pretty much linked. I know that recently banks don't have a great name, but nonetheless, over the century, uh, think about this town, this London, you know, the city of London, and uh, the uh, uh, growth and development of financial market are so much uh, part of the same name. Um, well, uh, what, of course, uh, bank uh, can do? Um, banks have a social responsibility, and as I said, they are living part of the cities, and, and so this is quite an important, important subject uh, of our uh, interest, uh, uh, how city developed, and how can we help in make them develop better. So. Um, if uh, uh, we look at the life of the city, life of the city as of many uh, sovereign state is becoming more and more difficult. Uh, the world has become more complex and resources are becoming uh, less and less available. Government can do much less uh, than before in terms of funding cities. Uh, and so cities have to find alternative way to find resources. And I think that to that extent, uh, the business community at large and the financial community, of course, have a responsibility to participate and help uh, city in their uh, uh, looking for uh, appropriate resources to develop. So if I talk about my own uh, institution at JP Morgan, we have a strong commitment uh, toward uh, uh, city development, and we have a very important initiative, a Global Cities Initiative, that we started alongside the Brookings Institution. And this is an initiative uh, that we hope will help city realize their own vision of where to go and how to grow in a healthy and prosperous way. Um, how we are doing this, very different ways. Uh, one, I think, very important way is as a large global bank, we have 
access to a huge amount of data and information. And we want to put that uh, at the disposal of the city to help them uh, um, have access to uh, such a rich data set to help them plan uh, for the future in a much more informed way. And we do this with other partners. For example, uh, we have uh, initiated not long ago a partnership with the Institute of Public Policy Research here in London exactly to try to understand better uh, the data and uh, use them to uh, provide useful information and advice to do a better job in uh, growing our cities. Uh, but it's not just a question of information at, uh, uh, and, and, and making information available to uh, a, you know, our, our local partners and uh, to uh, city and towns, but we also put resources on the table. And JP Morgan Chase has made uh, several decisions, and uh, one in particular has been very important to us, which is a five-year investment uh, of about, uh, not of about, of hundred million dollars, uh, which has been committed to help Detroit's ec uh, economic recovery. This is the largest commitment that we have made up to date uh, today to a city, but uh, really the results are going much beyond the border of Detroit. We are learning in Detroit what works and what doesn't, and as we were saying before, this is part of a big information set uh, that we want then to uh, put at work for uh, other city and our experience. So this is one way uh, in which we can uh, uh, do uh, you know, something important and concrete uh, for uh, uh, the local, uh, our uh, local city uh, and um, a stakeholder. Another initiative uh, has to do with the realization of, as I said before, cities uh, uh, means people, uh, and people really uh, means jobs. And as city uh, changes and grow, also jobs change and, 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 uh, and become uh, different, and ne people need to adapt. And this is uh, the reason why we started another important initiative, uh, which uh, has to do with uh, uh, what, we, what is called the skill gap. Uh, we have produced several uh, studies uh, going in depth into part of our you know, very large data on the work, workforce around uh, the globe. And what is the purpose of it? We know that, and we certainly understand, that many uh, open jobs require specific skills. And the worker that have those skills uh, are able uh, to really earn good wages and have a great prospect of career. But many workers uh, don't have those skills. And so what we need to do is bridge that gap. And to help address this issue, uh, we have committed a $250 million globally to help to better understand uh, the origin of the skill gap. and. Um, help people to train and uh, acquire such skill. So to finish, uh, what I, uh, let me tell you that we all need, and certainly at JP Morgan, we believe that it's part of our social responsibility to help create a uh, flourishing local economy and to give people the opportunity to succeed. Thank you for being here today, and I hope the conversation that we already have and will be having in the afternoon are going to produce uh, a lot of uh, new ideas and incentivize the business community to be part of this process. Thank you very much. Thank you.